Hello, HCG peeps. It's your girl MJ checking in for round three, VLCD 25. And before I get into my stats, I just first want to say mahalo much to all the people who um, commented on my vlog yesterday, wishing me well and giving me suggestions as to what I should do to feel better. Well, um, what I ended up doing is just resting and taking it easy and I started taking my Zycam and I'm actually still taking my Zycam today. I'm not 100% well, I'm about 75-80% but I'm getting there. Um, today was my walk day and I opted not to do that only because I don't want to push my body. So anywho, let's get into the stats. Uh, I got on the scale today and I released 0.4. I don't know how. Um, yesterday I ate for breakfast. I had um, an apple that I sliced and sprinkled with Saigon cinnamon. Two sticks of Grissini uh, breadsticks. Um, what else? And coffee. Coffee with just stevia, no creamer. And then for lunch I made myself a mushroom. Um omelet using um, the egg beaters. I had like four servings of that. The The whole thing totaled 110 calories. And then a couple of hours after that, I was hungry again. So I got myself a 0% Faye yogurt. And thereafter, three hours after that, I was hungry again. So I made, heated up two servings of my chicken adobo and two servings of um, roasted broccoli. And um, I think everything totaled a little over 700 calories. And I got two, one teaspoon of um, chocolate delights. So I was ravenous. Yeah, I was crazy hungry yesterday. I was getting hungry every like two hours. It was no kidding. It was like ridiculous. It was ridiculous. But, um, you know, I still had a loss. Still released. And apparently part of the reason why I had been gaining and crazy hungry and craving things is because my body was prepping for Tom arrival. Which he's a week early, so I didn't expect him to show up. He showed up first thing this morning. Well, it is what it is. Today is my non-injection day. It's a Sunday, so I skipped and um, I have been running around doing errands and then I spent a couple of hours with my good girlfriend and she and I actually shopped for some vitamins and all that good stuff. So I'm going to talk about that in a little bit. Um, let's see, what else did I want to tell you? Oh yeah, I apologize. I haven't been, I noticed from watching my previous vlogs that I haven't been telling you guys, um, what I've been eating. And, um, for those of you who are following me for the first time, don't follow me because I'm totally mop. I modify on protocol a lot because I'm a foodie and I get bored rather easily with salads. I'm not one that can just like eat something and and be done with it. I take pleasure out of eating. I really do. Food is my lover. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but yeah, I love food and I think eating should be a pleasurable experience that you know that you're kind of in the moment you're connecting and you're enjoying sort of everything in your mouth you know so um so yeah that's me so i tend to modify whatever i like such as like the chicken adobo um i will make that very p2 friendly and um and i use coconut oil my body uh releases on coconut oil it doesn't affect me um what else? Uh, and I use a lot of Pam. I, the only time I really use coconut oil is uh, is when I make chocolate delights or if I'm sauteing something that needs a little bit more um, flavor. Um, what else? Um, and I do turkey um, cutlets, turkey, ground turkey. I do chicken um, and organic veggies and organic uh salad mixes and all that so um so yeah i'm gonna start telling you what i'm eating anywho let me tell you uh i have some 
um, what am I going to call this? Um, like Sprout Hall. Um, I got this. It's called Black Water. If you're not familiar with it, which actually I'm not. A friend of mine who is um, with a guy who is a um, chiropractor and an herbalist. He actually uh, told her that we should get in um, alkaline fulvic trace mineral infused water. It's supposed to be super good for you. It helps sort of, you know, clean you out so that you can observe the nutrients um, from the food that you're eating. So yeah, I got that today. I don't know how good it is. I got like five bottles, but um, she said I should start seeing the difference within two or three days. So I'm going to drink like one a day. Um, and also, I don't know if I told you, but I haven't been taking vitamins on this round. Only because my last round, I took some powdered vitamins that I got from um, Nutrisport and my body didn't do well with it. I was actually gaining from it. Um, so I went and picked up um, Super Multivitamin and it's liquid and it has low glycemic and it's sweetened with xylitol and stevia. So I'm going to try that. I'll let you know how it is. And oh! I got myself a B12 sublingual. Yay! I'm so happy about that. Um, what else? Oh, quick um, info about Lipman. I think um, a couple a couple of vlogs ago, I had mentioned that I do uh, semi Lipman, more Simeon protocol. And um, the reason for that is I read Lipman's uh, book, the 800 calories uh, HCG book. And um, it's a fast read, a lot of grammatical errors, <laughs> and he often refers to himself in third person, which was really confusing. Um, but in the major differences, you can get an extra serving of protein, and he doesn't limit like uh, veggies. Um, you can have, I think, potatoes, carrots. Um, God, I can't remember something else, but it's something I don't normally eat anyway, so I wasn't worried about it. So he said you can have a limited amount of veggies, um, and you can incorporate um, sugar-free or low sugar, you know, that's meant for diabetics um, products like EAS Advantage. It has 17 grams of protein, only 100 calories, and 2.5 grams net carbs. So I do this. I especially do this after I'm done with my walk. You know, they talk about rebuilding the uh, the muscles and all that. So I do that. And then also, I always have this handy just in case I'm out running around and I don't have my food. Um, I This is my second bar. The first one was delish. It's about 150 calories. Um, two grams of net carbs. This one is the mixed berry delight. They have chocolate delight. They have chocolate and peanut butter. The one I tried was chocolate and peanut butter, and that was delish. Um, yeah, so I like these two. And jello, sugar free jello. This one's the chocolate and vanilla swirl. And uh, another one is the caramel, sugar free caramel and vanilla. These two. The, I, I can't do. It's been sitting in my fridge since I got them like a couple of weeks ago after I read Lipman's book only because um, this is rice for me. I eat one of these and all of a sudden I'm going down the cheat hole. I don't know. That one day I tried it where I tried to get in like seven to 800 calories. Um, just, and then I had like one for a dessert. Oh, I didn't like it. I was too full. I felt like I was cheating. And the next day, I think I had like a point two gain on the scale. Anyway, um, yeah, if you're interested, you know, you can do this using Lipman. Um, I personally, I, I, I suppose I could, but I just am choosing not to only because Two reminds me so much of my old self, you know, and I want to eat real food. I want to eat real food. Um, yeah, so, oh, before I go, drink your water. Ooh, that was sexy, drinking my water. Anyhow, I think that's it for me to 
tonight and um whose videos have I watched that I want to send shout outs to I'm blanking out anyway you guys are all doing so very well and I'm so glad to be on this journey with you I'm incredibly humbled by just how much goodness you put out into the world by supporting me, supporting others, and being real and being honest, and um, and you know really sort of dissecting why we have such a dysfunctional relationship with food. So um, extremely honored to be on this journey with you, and I'm so appreciative of all the positive energy and encouragement that you're forever sending my way. So. Thank you, and you people are so beautiful. Thank you. I'm going to go, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye, guys.